and alive to his truth. And, and today we're like spiritual zombies where we're more interested in the material things, we're more interested in the worldly things. And we don't feed our soul, we don't feed our hearts on the things of God. It says in the word of God that the, the law is like honey to my, to my tongue. Amen. It says that the law is good. It says that the word of God is good. And the word of God is good for the soul. It's good for the heart. It's good for the mind. It's good for you. And it will bless you. Amen. And if you trust it, it will save you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. But it says, be not conformed to this world. Amen. This world pressurizes us. This world has its system of pride. Oh. It has its system of, of riches. It has its system of power. It has its system of, of domination. It has its system of wealth. It has all these systems that try to mold us in its image. And Paul says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. The word transformed means that you become a new person like from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Amen. Some of you need to change from being a caterpillar to a butterfly. And you can be a butterfly today rather than a caterpillar. You can be a new person today and move from being a caterpillar to a butterfly, spiritually speaking. And it begins by having faith in Him. Mm. Jesus Christ in uh, Philippians chapter uh, 2, I think it is, where it says, He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and humbled himself even to the death of the cross, where he was highly exalted, Amen. that every name shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, that the Lord humbled himself. He humbled himself and gave himself on that cross. He